Hey, I'm Cameroon. And I'm Alex Van Pelt. And this is what's happening and what's up in the Counter-Strike world. Catches him though, and it's gonna come down to Happy now in the 1v2, and they're expecting Happy to come by Link all the time. Happy does this every single time. Instead, Happy holding the high ground, hoping to be able to dunk a shot on Edward, and he just barely gets him at the last possible second. Happy clutches it for Envy. That highlight is one of many from Kluge to Poka, and more specifically from the first match of two in the finals between Envious and Na'Vi. DreamHack Kluge Napoka featured the world's best teams fighting for a $100,000 first place check. Some surprising upsets to call out were CLG beating Dignitas in the HLTV dubbed Group of Death, and Luminosity taking down Fnatic, securing first place in Group A. Envious was dominating from the very beginning, not losing a single matchup, taking first in their group, and going through the winner's bracket into winning the grand finals. They did lose one map to G2 and Fnatic, but neither team could slow down the Frenchmen as they steamrolled their way to victory. North America fell short with CLG, Cloud9, and Liquid failing to make it out of groups, showing that we just weren't ready to take a win home this time. Luminosity is often considered to be a North American team despite being from Brazil, but they deserve to be in a class of their own. Fallen, Steel, Fur, Bolts, and Cold show that they're getting even closer to making a major final appearance. This team, if you don't remember, came out of nowhere back at the X Games in Aspen, and have been making waves ever since they splashed onto the professional CSGO scene. With the momentum they've built up and the experience they get every tournament, I see them getting stronger and stronger until eventually they're finishing first. On the flip side of things, CLG, Liquid, and Cloud9 failed to even make it out of groups. Each team had their moments of brilliance, from JDM's powerful op to Hiko's all-out Hiko-ness. Each brought something to the table, but what they brought wasn't good enough. I'm not saying they're all doomed teams, but I am saying that we need to see something, something more proactive rather than reactive. And I say this as one implies that we stop being on the defensive. North America needs a squad to get behind that is dominating in both their shots and in their strat calling. Teams like Envious, Luminosity, Virtus Pro, and Na'Vi all have some explosive element they bring to the game each time they load up, and North America needs to find that. Whether it's in more creative strats or shuffling players until we have all aces, we need to change. I know everyone has played the North American Dream Team game before, but after this tournament, I want to hear what you think. If you were to take the entire NA player pool and make a team of players to win the next major, who do you think could do it and why? We'll take some of the best responses and throw them in the next episode. Envious did win $100,000 for this tournament win and did so with a fierce showing of force. So congratulations guys, I did the math and that's like 14,285 baguettes you can buy. So eat up. Sabian. One Game Agency is back and is happy to announce their latest event, the GameKit.com Counterpit League Season 2. Starting directly after the SEVO Season 8 Finals, the group stages will begin and will run to the 28th of February. They're changing things up a bit this season by including teams from North America, Europe, CIS, Australia, and Oceania. Also, instead of the $50,000 prize pool that was offered last season, they'll be bumping it up to $80,000 due to their wonderful partners. The season will come to an end with a huge LAN final in Split Croatia from March 17th to the 18th. You are able to purchase tickets now for the event and be a part of the 10,000 seats offered. Team Solo Mid walked out of the first season with over $20,000 after defeating Envious 2-0. Do you think they can take the second season? Who do you think will make it to the LAN finals? Let us know. Is anyone else excited for the Red Dot Invitational? Haven't heard of it yet? No worries, recently announced O Gaming TV is going to host a $50,000 CSGO Invitational featuring Titan, Envious, Dignitas, and Team Solo Mid. Announced on their website and detailed on HLTV.org, the tournament is broken up into three stages. The first stage is set to take place from November 15th to the 23rd, where the previously mentioned teams will join four others to fight for spots in the playoffs. The second stage will be the quarterfinals and will be held online in December. Everything culminates on January 12th when the finals will be played in France at a currently unannounced famous venue. Envious did just win Kluge Napoca, so they're one of the favorites going in, but Team Solomid, Titan, and Dignitas shouldn't be counted out just yet. As more information around the other teams involved in the tournament is released, we'll keep you in the know here at What's Happening, What's Up. Don't forget that this weekend is going to be action-packed just like the last. SEVO is having their Season 8 Finals coming to you from the MLG.TV Arena in Columbus, Ohio. Now we've already mentioned the teams participating in the event, but we now have the first matchups coming to you on Friday. 
we'll see Titan take on Luminosity and Navi fighting Mouse Sports at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Then around 7.30 p.m. Eastern, Team Liquid will be playing Dignitas and Virtus Pro and Conquest will go at it. Remember, all these matches will be a best of three, so be prepared for some great fights. These matches can be seen at mlg.tv slash playcebo and playcebo2, so be sure to tune in and root for your favorite. We've talked about the matches and some of the highlights from Cluj Napoca. Mojo on PC collected some of the funny moments during Cluj Napoca. Here's a few. He's got an M249. That's got to be a mistake. Maybe it's a new meta. We don't know. <laughs> that was the adjustment they made. It's like, oh, guys, we lost all you know, those B push rounds. What we really needed was an M249. <laughs> That's what we really needed. Right. Yeah. Pew pew. I, I think you were obviously motivated by the sign in the front row, Forest have my babies. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, who, who doesn't love babies? Come on. Yes! Uh, great last series, Thalic Classico. It was a start.